What's up guys? Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today I've got a 2002 SS Camaro convertible sitting here. This one's got decent mileage on it. Got the V8, the true SS. And it's got a nice paint job. There is flaws though. So the car is not perfect. The detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available on my website at maplemotors.com. Be sure to go there, check it out, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, hit subscribe, share. That'll help me out quite a bit. All right. We're going to open her up, check everything out, and let you know what's going on. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's look around the interior. Check some stuff out. Back seat looks good. We're going to drop the top. We'll do it. We'll, we'll do a driving portion with the top up so you can really hear. And then we'll drop it about halfway through the video and get some cool drop top shots. You can see they got a cover on the dash. I wonder if it's too protected. Nope, there's cracks on this dash. Can't see up in there, but it does have cracks underneath this. This These cars are prone to cracking, especially the black ones. They draw all that heat, and it's like a thin, cheap piece of plastic that they put over the whole dash. And you got a cover there, and it looks better. A little warp. This one starts up good. Somebody already had the air on, I guess. We'll give it a second. We got low gas. We need to go get some gas. Check gauges on, probably for the gas. Showing 84,000 miles. Put across our gauges here. Well, that could be that oil pressure gauge there. I wonder if it's got a screen pickup blocking it. Could be. AC is cold. Interior looks pretty good. All right. Wipers. Yeah. Horn, did you place your bets? It does work. Let's go ahead and hit the road and we'll see what else we can find. Okay, just checking everything. And I do believe it's the sending unit on the oil pressure gauge. Motor's nice and quiet. Oil looks great. Did you see that gauge? That's probably why it says check gauges there. Let's come on up in here. It's just messed. It's not reading correct. Rev it up and it jumps up to close to 40. But it's going all the way down there. So I'm assuming that's going to be our issue there. I believe these have a screen on the sensor as well. So I've had those and changed them out before. Let's hit the road and see what else we can find. All right, we'll cut that down so the blower motor is not so loud. It looks like the blower motor does have a little bit of a vibration when you turn it on. Here. It's blowing hard though, working good. Freezing cold. All right, I'm gonna go get some fuel. This is the first time I've actually driven this route here. I'll make sure the top buckle it is. Brakes feel pretty good so far. And here we go. Get a good shift there. Everything's working on the dash. Other than that oil pressure gauge, I do believe it's faulty. Speedometer seems correct. Car sounds great. Got plenty of power there. Back in our brakes. Real tight steering. Things good. Maybe a little bit of a pull to the left there on the front end. Let's try it again. Very well could have been the road. It's not really doing it now. You got your traction control here on off uh, should be fog lights on the front end we'll look on the walk around see what's up there Take a 
little bit of a longer test drive on this one. I gotta go across town. But going to one of my favorite spots to get videos. I'm excited. I never really get to go out that way. It is all the way on the other side. But here we go. signals are flashing on the dash but the, the clicker's out Explanatory 84,000 mile 2002 Camaro. I want to get some outside shots. We'll light up the undercarriage, and see what it looks like underneath, and we'll continue this video. I'll be back. Okay, got some gas up here at the gas station. Of course, we'll roll out of here. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it was the gas gauge that says check gauges. But you would think it'd be that oil pressure gauge because it ain't moving. I think we got a bad gauge going on, guys. All right. this thing down I think it's gonna start raining here soon so we gotta be uh, careful with the top down top super quiet comes down easy windows yep good deal Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay guys, here we're getting ready to take off here. Um, so far so good other than that gauge. That is the only thing that I would change out so that you know what the oil pressure is. Here we go. Cool little spot back here. Pretty fun. Suspension on this one's not bad. A little bit of creaking and popping that I was hearing throughout the uh, test drive so far. Looky here, open road again. Pretty quick little car here. Roger drives great. I'm thinking picking out the flaws is where we're gonna have to go on over to. The back bumper, I noticed a little spider webbing going on in the middle there. Um, I've actually had a bunch of those painted in the past. It's like a common thing with them. But from this point out, there's like 30 red lights and a lot of traffic. That's why I never come to this side of town. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this test drive video. Uh, picking out the flaws is coming up next. Thanks, guys. guys got out of the rain started sprinkling on me and pulled up over here we're right beside maple motors which is right here hopefully they don't mind me using this bay well if they do i guess they'll come out and say something starting with the trunk we're here to pick out the flaws uh look at down in here looks like some door panels some covers down below that you got your jack the inside of the trunk looks pretty good it's like cd changer dusty in those jams trunk lid on this one looks pretty good coming up on the back this is the worst part of the whole car right here light crack on the back bumper there like I said I've had to repaint these bumpers before in the past on previous cars I don't know why it's so common I guess it's the material that's made of I love the center exhaust on this one tail lights got some light little cracks in them over here as well coming down this side of the car we're gonna go down the lower portion tires on this one looking good nice set of wheels up and over little chip on the side of the car there light scratch there no come right off that was armor off from these tires look like a scratch definitely one there so, right there on the paint job coming back your midsection scratch here got some blemishes on top there Little pieces missing here, completely. Vertible top is in good shape on this one. Little 
ship there. Front windshield on this car is in great shape. Up on the front end. spot there. Headlights look good. Now coming down this side of the car. A little chip at the bottom there. Chip here in the door. Down here. Light scratches. Chips there. Crack in the middle right here. Ding right here. Little scuffs on the edge. Back in midsection. Spot here. Light scratches on your door handle. Spot there. The front windshield looks good. Seals around your windows look good. The top's in great shape. We're gonna start it up after we look at the interior. I know it was easier with the top down, but it, like I said, it started raining, so I just went ahead and put it up. Door panel, beautiful. Jams. Seat, usually it's all tore up. This is nice. A little wear on the edge there. flashing like that just says it is on my camera because of the refresh rate Flip there is not staying. I've had that problem before in the past too. Put it down with this hood. fingerprints on the front dirt there little chip here light scratch on the hood oh never mind I thought it was I'm scared to wipe it too much because it's black and it'll scratch but that was not a scratch that was a hair or something <laughs> all right guys detailed pictures finance and shipping maplemotors.com
If you haven't already, hit subscribe and share. I gotta go back, hopefully get some more videos done today. Thanks for watching.